So I gotta make this video quick before I melt my Tesla M40. I got ambitious and apparently it'll play nice with the T3610 with the uh, custom cable I made. Obviously it's a little long because it's supposed to be for the 5820. But um, yeah, so the card's going right now. It's not gonna go for long. Let's see what we're at, 72C. Um, you'll notice though, it's pulling uh, upwards of 200 watts. I think the power supply in that thing's 685 watts, so there should be enough headroom. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if anybody wants to run a Tesla M40 or potentially other cards in the Precision T3610. I need to test as well the um, 7900, I think, over there. But uh, yeah, so I need to uh, stop this before my GPU explodes. And uh, yeah. Um, kind of a ramble. I kind of have to do this in a rush because I didn't feel like doing proper cooling because there's not really a good way to do it at the moment. <laughs> but um, if for some reason you have interest in custom power cables for the Precision T3610 to an NVIDIA Tesla, let me know. This only has support for one powered GPU. So if you're gonna run a Tesla, you're gonna have to run something that's unpowered or Get more ambitious, but if you're willing to get more ambitious, honestly, I, you'd probably just uh, put a splitter on this or an adapter on the uh, official cable and make it work. But um, either way, yeah, I guess uh, just let me know what your thoughts are, and maybe I will try making some of these so people can put Teslas in T3610s and hopefully more. So, thanks for watching.